are getting ready for the gym. Little Sunday workout, 10 a.m. Slept in. I'm gonna wear this brown Paragon set. I think I'm gonna do with some legs. Yeah, we're gonna do legs. <laughs> Road lip peptide is one of my favorite for over a year now. It's so good. There's nothing going out. <laughs> and then my go-to face, like skin tint for the gym has been this Summer Fridays skin tint. And then I mix it with these Glow Drop. And it's super easy and just gives it a nice glowy finish. So let's do it. And then I use a little extra under my eyes just because I have kind of big bags. I just need to get my eyebrows tinted again. It's my hair is so dark. I can't keep up anymore. Even with the microblading, my hair is just so long. It smells so good too. So glowy. Wait, Sniff also sent me the Rose Era perfume. The Monet collab. And it's so good. and wash my hair and face and body but I just wanted to share my current skincare routine because I have talked shit about skincare but I see the value in like a good skincare routine um I've been going to skin boss if you're in the area it's like a med spa on the east side and they one gave me Botox but two have been doing we've been doing facials they did like a whole I posted about it on Instagram I'll link it in the description box but my skin has literally never been better it feels so good so soft like very minimal breakouts anymore at all and i had good skin before i didn't really have super problematic skin but i can absolutely tell the difference and obviously botox helps because it really just shrinks my pores and makes everything super glowy and hard to wrinkle. <laughs> skin Boss also put me on a new skincare routine when I went the first time and I want to show you. Okay this is the cleanser Barrier Pro Color Science. Really nice. It gets my makeup off with like one maybe two cleanses. It's so good. I didn't realize that like medical grade products versus like convenience store retail products the convenience store retail products have way more water because they're not able to have like more of the active ingredients so that is the value of like getting it from a med spa or your dermatologist whatever learning new things and then my second step for my daytime routine is this serum it's like a vitamin C, aqua cream vitamin c serum i don't know it smells amazing and i love it we also have an under eye cream I put here for like dark circles. I don't know if it really makes a difference. I feel like they're better, but I don't know if that's all thanks to the cream. And then this is like my face lotion, morning and night. I'm obsessed with this. It's so good. It smells incredible. It feels so smooth. Last part of my daytime routine is just Alta MD sunscreen. Love it. They have like a tinted version too, but I've been doing, obviously I showed you my tinted stuff and then the only thing that i switch up from like day to night is instead of this i use this retinol one and this is my first time using retinol and i really like it it has it like stores the two main ingredients in like two separate compartments so they don't like mix until you i was gonna say secrete and that is absolutely not it but okay i it actually has me like excited to do my skincare and to take care of my skin and i'm excited to go back to skin boss like maybe later this year or next year and do another age analyzer the first day i went in and my skin was 32 and i'm 29 i know that's not a big deal i'm just trying to 
not get too out of myself, you know? Now, I'm gonna go eat chili. I had a bar during my workout and an organ protein shake, but John made chili yesterday, so I'm gonna go have some of that and go sit on the porch and edit a sponsored post that I need to get done. Side note, since we last chatted on YouTube, I got this beautiful little organization spinny guy because we have obviously like very little store. These aren't even drawers. So like we have no drawer. Oh, ew, I need to organize, that's gross. So there was always just like things that I wanted more easily accessible, AKA skincare. Okay, let's go on the porch. Baby boy. Lulu <laughs> finding the one sliver of the sun. Lulu, is it your birthday? Are you three years old? Lulu turns three years old today. And I don't know when Tuck's birthday is. I wish I did so I knew like his uh, zodiac sign, you know? Because Louise makes so much sense. She's a Leo. Like, obviously, she cannot stand not having attention. Having my chili on the porch and watching the Olympics, or I was going to watch this. I don't watch any of the Olympics. Oh, here she is. She's so cute. I love her. Okay, um. I want to watch like gymnastics I missed, but I don't know how to navigate this. Oh, here we go. This is Lulu's birthday cake. It's a Ben and Jerry's doggy pop cup. Okay, remember? Had to move my uh, gardening supplies to set this track out up, but it's Monday. I'm in my jammies. No, this is actually not fat. Okay, this is fashion, but I just have some errands run. I need to pick up more gardening supplies. Um, I need to go cancel my other gym membership because I literally haven't been there in months and I'm paying too much for literally nothing. So go to that, drop off an Amazon return. I was influenced to buy these like clippy headbands that give you like the 90s look and I hated it. <laughs> it was actually hard to do and didn't look that cute and it's hard to get out so it's literally only seven dollars but i'm like i'm not just gonna throw it away i'm just gonna go take it back someone else come in i'm gonna film a little outfit trick and then i'm gonna film part of a sponsored post i finished crown of midnight last night i'm reading the throne of glass series and i've been in a bit of a slump but i picked it up and then i was like hooked and finished the book and then now I'm on Era Fire, which is four, book four of eight. So, still a long way to go, but huge plot twist that I actually already knew because I look up spoilers because it's impossible for me not to. <sighs> I literally just gaslit myself into not using hairspray. I was like, oh, it's too heavy, it holds my hair down. And then it just completely fell by the time I was out with my makeup. So, touched up with a curling iron, but it's just, figure it out as I figure out what I'm wearing but I'm going to the skin boss like anniversary party and I think it's like a bloom and glow theme I have a tank that I just got from Revolve I was gonna show you guys everything I got from Revolve do a little haul right now and then hopefully I like it and it fits so let's do this I got this just like basic black maxi skirt because I don't have any that fit me anymore and it's really soft and I love this symmetrical waist shape. It's so flattering. I had it in my head like with just like a tank top like this, but to like dress it down a bit, you know, make more casual flip flops. But I don't know if this is the tank. I have it just like pulled up right now, but okay, this top has like this cute little netted beading detail. And I wouldn't wear this with this skirt. Just an FYI, I don't think it's really the look. Next is this bandeau top. I have a medium. It's a little bit loose. It's like a zipper so I can't really adjust anything. Cute though and it's like good quality and like girly. Cheap maybe. Then I got another tube top. I probably can't wear my sticky boobs with this one but I don't think I really need to. It's really soft and comfortable. Like really good quality. And the jeans are also revolve they're low rise these are a little big on my waist they're 27 so i'm thinking i'll probably get them tailored but yeah they're just big okay so i have this little button it's like a pin i got it off of amazon there we go i'm gonna put this pin next to the one that's already on the jeans it's a little bit to tighten the waist a bit 
flip it over. It does kind of create a little weirdness sometimes, but I don't think it's bad right now. I love it. The cutest, just like classic polo striped sweater. Yeah, the jeans definitely need to be tailored because they're like creating like a bulge, you know? I actually kind of love where it hits. It's still like baggy, big and cozy. Don't know. I think maybe I'm just too pale for this right now. I like it. I just feel like it's like washing me out. Maybe it's the sliding, I don't know. Mm, not with these jeans, that's for dang sure. Oh God, I don't know, now it's panic mode. I don't know if I said, but those were all gifted. So I will link them all below for you if you wanna shop and like my sizing and everything. Oh, I'm also gonna link my Revolve favorites, things that I haven't gotten, but things that I'm like looking at or love and or have had a long time are all on there with my sizing and direct links. Okay, now it's time to panic and figure out what I'm actually gonna wear tonight and then I'll check back and show you. <laughs> Final fit, then obviously we have silver buttons, but we're metal mixing these days, ladies and gents. Good morning, we are gonna make some breakfast. John sent me an Instagram video, so that is my inspiration for today. It's super high protein and looks really, really good. Okay, so let's get the stuff. These are the Trader Joe's hash browns I'm using. So good, honestly, McDonald's too. Like, they're so good. Eggs and cottage cheese and an avocado. The hash browns are better in the air fryer, but I just don't, I'm not entirely sure how to use it. That's John's. Job. So I'm gonna use the oven. Look at that. Oh my god. Yup. Coming up. Okay, Google, set a timer for seven minutes. Got it. Seven minutes. John taught me that the perfect scrambled eggs is low heat and cook them slowly. And they are so much like creamier, but still like cooked through, you know what I mean? Like you don't have like goopy egg whites. Mwah, so good. Wow, they turned out pretty good. Now let's try them. They're a little, they're not as crispy as I would like, but still. Wow, so crispy though. It's really good. And I love that it's super high protein. I need that everything seasoning, man. That would definitely just like tie it all together. But it's still a really good combo. And I'm excited because this is so easy. I need some gardening supplies for my trip down to Florida. So I'm running to get like a vape and um, some edibles. And John has a little cold. So he is requesting chicken noodle soup ingredients and kimchi and something else that's like naturally sauerkraut good probiotics i hate that the smell of both of those makes you want to vomit but healthy so completely forgot to film while i was putting all of this together but i'm eating so good today having a chopped salad john prepped it all on sunday he like grilled a bunch of chicken and chopped up cucumbers grape tomatoes and like yellow and orange bell peppers and then i just chop up some chicken chop up some pickled onions that he makes pour some of the vinegar from the pickled onions in the salad along with like some balsamic vinegar and then goat cheese and these croutons literally make me crave this salad like daily this is like the best week ever i have it for days <laughs> but these are so good from trader joe's this is so good i'm gonna go watch love island uk i'll eat this i just remade the hash rounds in the air fryer and so i'm gonna put it together and i got everything seasoning yesterday and john recommended using this chippy salt on the hash browns which it's so good i think this is like an australian brand correct me if i'm wrong but i don't know where he gets this probably amazon chicken salt is basically what it is called chippies okay update can confirm 10 times better with just the addition of the chippy salt everything seasoning and making it in the air fryer those 
yeah, they gotta be crispier than I had yesterday. And these are so good. I'm literally sitting on this bar stool because <laughs> I already had Love Island here. So. I did want to address potty talk really quick because I know some of you have asked me what's going on, are we coming back? And I don't, we probably are, but I don't know when. I just needed a break. And I think I just, I knew it was gonna be a lot of work, but it was so much more work than I anticipated. Just like demanding of my time, my creativity, my mental capacity, and then financially, I was outsourcing a lot of things. And even when you outsource, you still have to like be working with the people. And it was just kind of a lot. Um, so I needed a break. It's been really, really nice to just like enjoy the summer more. And also sad because I like have so many notes that I would be talking about on the podcast and I just have nowhere to say them. I need to start talking more on like Instagram and just picking up my vlog camera, which exactly. I'm like, okay, I still have these platforms of like how people can connect with me. TBD on Body Talk. That's where we're at. On a lighter note, heading to Florida at the end of this week to see my grandma. And she asked if I had been to Key West and suggested that she, my aunt and I, go to Key West for a weekend. Luis <laughs> is literally sitting in the windowsill right now. Hold on. Like, why? You have this perfectly comfy couch. <laughs> She's in the window still staring at me. You good? What you doing? I'm leaving John home with the dogs for a week. He's, <laughs> he's gonna be so over it. I feel bad, but he works close so he can easily like come home throughout the day and take him out. I know I'm gonna miss him so much. I've been trying to like cuddle them up so much and like give them lots of love because I know I'm leaving. Just gave myself a nice little Dyson Air at blowout for literally no reason because it's raining. No, I was gonna actually go shoot the new Paragon collection, but it's raining. But I might just grab an umbrella and make it like cutesy. I don't know, or I'll wait for tomorrow. But like, look at my hair now. But I guess this isn't really screaming like workout outfit. Anyways, I have to show you guys the new Paragon outfit. I almost ended this vlog without doing that and that would be a crime. So I'm not here to go to jail today. Sneak preview, bra, flare pants with a butt scrunch. This outfit I wore today got so many compliments. They said this is limited edition. I really hope not. I hope they keep restocking this entire collection because there's a lot more that I want. And the colors are so good and the fabrics and the fit, like it's all, it's so good. And it doesn't launch until August 20th. And I'm probably gonna guess maybe one or two in the afternoon. But don't quote me on that because I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, I started with this color, which looks so orange on my screen right now. But I feel like it's more red in real life. And don't worry, each color comes with a cute matching headband. I just blew my hair out, so I don't wanna do this, but it definitely completes the look. Hold on. Only for you guys. She's so sporty and cute, oh my god. But seriously, the fabric and the fit of all of this, like the shirt is ribbed. Hopefully it, you can tell. The bottoms are not, but I think there are some on the site that are. But they do have the scalp seam, which make the booty look so good. I am wearing a small in the top and the shorts. I'm probably about ready to size up in the bottoms. I have gained some weight. Probably order my next round of clothes in a medium. Here it is, full length. Okay, next is this beautiful, I think the color is, I think they're calling this color Ace, but it is so stunning. Like it's like the perfect soft blue. I don't know how to describe it, but I love this color. I'm just wearing it with the looking. Okay, now best for last, I'm gonna try on the pink outfit. It's pink, you guys. I mean, <laughs> it's so good. They have a baby blue color too that I didn't get my hands on. The pastels are everything. These are definitely see-through. I just won't wear them. Actually, 
I'm gonna say I won't wear them on leg day, but like it's literally just me and John in the gym most days, so maybe I will. Anyways, <laughs> um, another thing to note about this collection, I'll show you the full body in a sec, but another thing to note about this collection, no camel toe. I don't, I'm not gonna zoom in down there, but like just trust me, I get camel toe with like no front seam leggings. These are no front seam, nothing on every color. I don't know what they did with the gusset, but like no underwear, no camel toe. Mm. Before I show you the full outfit, they also make these like flare leggings in two different lengths. And I'm wearing the long and I'm not that tall, I'm only 5'5", five five, but I always prefer it to sit longer because when I sit down, obviously it goes up and blah, blah, blah. Here they are. They're pretty long, but I'm still, I'm only 5'5". Five five. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. And you can literally always use my code Christina for a discount and it saves you 11% on literally everything. I'm so obsessed. Again, wearing a small on this and the bottoms too. And then the last colorway I got was just the same exact set in black because obviously who doesn't want a black set and I'm probably gonna wear the black one to the airport on Sunday. Okay, now I'm ending the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I don't think I left the house once in this vlog, so that's something I'm gonna work on, bringing the camera with me when I go out and about, but spoiler alert, I really don't leave the house much. Especially like I'm trying to just not go out and needlessly spend money on things I don't need, so stay my happy ass at home. I'll be in Florida soon, so talk to you then.